for teachers who utilize Blackboard Learn and are at the end of a school year or a semester when they'd like to bring all of the content that they've created in a course forward into a new course with new student enrollments. We have a really simple process called export and import that teachers can utilize in Blackboard Learn to make this possible. Export allows us to move a bulk of information from one course into the next course with ease. We don't have to click on each individual item and move it forward. So I'm going to demonstrate how to export content, making sure to pay specific attention to some very key settings that you'll want to set properly, and then how to import that same content into a new course. So let's get started. Here you can see I'm in my sample course, and I'd like to bring all of this content with me to the next course. I'm going to slide down to the Packages and Utilities area under the Course Management tab, and we're going to go to Export or Archive Course. Now that we're here, I can click on Export Package. At the very top, right away, one of the things that we want you to identify is that you should select copy links and include copies of the files in the course default directory. And you should also select copy links and include copies of the files outside of the course default directory. So we want to have both of those so that it brings all of the content with us in this package. From there, we can select all of the content areas. If there's something specific that you don't want to bring with, for instance, I don't need this Google Calendar area with me, you can uncheck it and that will not be brought forward. But if you leave everything checked, it'll bring that information with you. I also want you to identify that if you have adaptive release rules set up, so if you use adaptive release and have this selected, it'll bring that forward. Your discussion boards, your journals, if you use rubrics, tasks, Notice now test surveys and pools can be brought forward. So if you use any of these key settings with leave everything set with the select all option and it will move it all forward for you into the next course provided you select these two options. Now large courses will take a little bit longer, but you don't have to do anything more than click submit. Here you can see that I've got this success, the action has been queued. When Blackboard has finally processed and packaged all of my files into a final zip file that I'll be able to move forward to my next blank course, I'll get an email and this will be a changed message here. I've just gotten my email, so I'm going to refresh the page. And here you can see that my newest package here on 6921 is the one that I'm going to download. So I click on it and I store it somewhere on my computer. I do like to make sure that I know where this file is on my computer and what it's named. My course is called Brian Sample and that works just fine for what I need here. So I'm gonna store that on my desktop. Great, my file is downloaded. So now I can hang on to that file so I've got a backup available for myself. I can store that in Google Drive so I've got a backup available. But let's talk about how we bring this package into my next course. So I'm going to switch over to a blank course that I'm starting fresh with. So here I am in my new course. My course perhaps is connected to my Infinite Campus roster for the year and my students are going to be enrolled. Now all I need to do is bring forward my content from last year's course. And that's very easy to do if I followed the export directions. So here I am in my new course. I come down to the Packages and Utilities area, and we're going to select Import Package. Now I'm going to click on the Import Package button here. We're going to browse my computer, select Open. Then I slide down to the Select Course Materials, and it's important that I, again, select All. We want to bring in everything that we had before into this next course. So we click Submit. What Blackboard is going to do is it's going to take that exported package or a zip file that I have, it's going to upload it into the new course, and it prompts me here to say, your course is waiting, and once all of your new stuff is present, we'll send you another email. 
So we simply wait for that email and then we refresh our page. I've just received my email. Again, depending on the size of your course, this could take longer than just a few seconds. I'm going to refresh my page. With just a little bit more waiting, you can see that my course and all of its content is available here for me. Any tests, pools, journals, discussion boards, anything like that that was a part of my course is now available for me here. And my course looks like it did last year, minus all of the student data from previous users. And that's the real advantage. We can move our content forward each year, but shake off some of that student data from last year's students so we can start fresh with this year's students. And that's how you export content and import into a new class at the end of a grading period, semester, or year.